Welcome back, everybody. Moving on to another question in this section. This is another word problem. So the path of a whale playing in the ocean can be modeled by the function below, where h of t is the height above and below the water in meters, and t is in seconds. So this is the function here. h of t equals negative 0.3, bracket t minus 1, t minus 5, t minus 11, t minus 16 three parts to this question. We have to first provide a rough sketch that models the situation. So we're gonna have to sketch this uh, function right there. Estimate the intervals where the instantaneous rate of change is positive and zero. And then part C, what is happening when the instantaneous rate of change is zero. Now graphing this, notice how this is just a polynomial function that's factored for you already. Right, so we can follow the steps that we went over when we talked about graphing factored polynomials. So first step, what is the end behavior gonna be? Well, notice how the degree of this polynomial is what? Well, t, 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 so four of these, if you expand it all out, we know the degree is gonna be four. Leading coefficient is going to be what? negative 0.3 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. So it's going to be negative 0.3. So a degree of 4, an even degree, a negative leading coefficient, if we draw this out here, we know the end behavior is going to be what? From here to here. Right? And then what are the intercepts going to be? Well, we can tell what the intercepts here are from the brackets. So one of the intercepts is gonna be one second, five seconds, let's actually expand this a little bit, 11 seconds, and then 16 seconds. So let's actually put this end behavior down here. Right, and what's the um, y-intercept, or in this case, the h-intercept gonna be? Well, we would have to plug in a value of zero for t, right? And if we plug in a value of zero for t, we actually end up getting negative 264. So that's gonna be here, negative 264. So this is one, this is five, this is 11, this is 16. So notice how we're only really concerned with the positive t values because t in this case is time, and time can only be positive. We're not gonna be dealing with negative time. So we just sort of actually forget about this portion of the graph. So when we draw this, how's it gonna look like? It's gonna approximately look like this. Right, so at a T value of zero, the whale is 264 meters below the water. This represents the water level here, right? Because H, is the height above or below the water of the whale. Then it's gonna go above the water, then below the water again, above the water. So it's basically jumping in and out of the water as we move along in time. Now part B asks us, where is the instantaneous rate of change gonna be positive for us to estimate it? Well, the instantaneous rate of change is gonna be positive whenever the function is increasing right? Because the slope of the tangent at any of those points is going to be positive, right? When the function is decreasing, when the h values are decreasing, the instantaneous rate of change is going to be negative, right? So we have to look for where the function is increasing. That will give us the intervals where the instantaneous rate of change is positive. So notice that it's increasing from a t value of zero to this point here. Now what's the t value of this point gonna be? It tells us to estimate it. We actually can't figure out yet, we don't have the tools to figure out where that specific t value is, right? When it reaches this point here, this local maximum, we're actually gonna find that out in calculus, but we can estimate it. So it's approximately halfway between one and five, right? So one plus five divided by two gives us three. So approximately at a t value of three, the whale reaches this maximum point. So from a t value of zero to a t value of three, the function is increasing, right? So the instantaneous rate of change is positive in that interval where this here is just an approximation, right? And then from three seconds all the way down here, 
the rate of change, instantaneous rate of change is going to be negative. The function is decreasing, right? The whale's height is decreasing. So that's going to be from 3 to this point here. And then to estimate this point, again, we can't find the specific value of it, but to estimate it, it would just be the halfway mark between these two intercepts. So 5 plus 11, 16, divided by 2 gives us 8. And then at this time value of 8, it's going to reach a minimum point, and then it's going to start increasing its height again, right, to this point here. And then this point is going to be the halfway mark between 11 and 16. So 11 plus 16, that is 27, divided by 2, that gives us 13 and a half. Right, so from eight seconds approximately to 13 and a half seconds, that is another interval where the instantaneous rate of change is positive. So from eight to 13 and a half. And those are the only intervals of increase where the instantaneous rate of change is positive because after 13 and a half seconds, the whale is just gonna keep diving further under water. It's not gonna come back out again right, according to this function that we were given. So two intervals where the instantaneous rate of change is positive. Here, from zero to three seconds, and we approximated that three seconds by taking the midpoint, and then from here, eight seconds to 13 and a half seconds. So that's where the instantaneous rate of change is positive, approximately, that's what our estimates are. And then where is the instantaneous rate of change equal to zero? That's another part of the question. Well, the instantaneous rate of change is gonna be zero at either a maximum, local maximum or local minimum point, right? Because the slope of the tangent, if we draw it there, is gonna be zero because the tangent is gonna be horizontal, right? So at those points, at those local max points or local min points, instantaneous rate of change is gonna be zero. So it's gonna happen approximately at a T value of three. At a T value of eight. And at a T value of 13 and a half. All right, so at those points, here, here, and here, instantaneous rate of change is zero. Slope of the tangent is zero because the tangent is a horizontal line. And then part C is asking, what is actually happening at those points? Well, as you can see from the diagram, the whale is just basically changing direction at those points. So at that T value of three, it reaches a maximum height above the water, and then it's going uh, back down, um, towards the water. So it's basically changing direction. Then at this point, it dives to this local minimum, and then it's gonna change direction and then come back up again. And then at this point, it's gonna reach a local max, then it's gonna change direction again. So basically, what's happening when the instantaneous rate changes zero for part C, the whale is changing direction right another thing they might ask you in this type of question is when is the whale below the water or above the water well then you would just look at these intervals here right so the whale is above the water between one second and five seconds between 11 seconds and 16 seconds it's below the water here, so from zero to three seconds, from five to 11 seconds, and then after 16 seconds, right? But they weren't asking the, uh, us that in this question, they were asking about the instantaneous rate of change, but that's another possibility that may come up, so just be aware of that.